Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses and today we are going to sum up our little mini-series on the foundations of the horse-human relationship. The things I believe in that have, um, yeah, that I've just worked with, that I've discovered over the years, the things I see make the difference. And the title of today's one is Forward Straight and Calm. So we're kind of back, you know, we started off with free forward movement, which is more, of course, about doing with the horse. And then we've gone through all the other um, items. So the free forward movement is about the willingness. And that is, you know, for me, it's the horse's expression. So, of course, going forward. But if they're doing that willingly, they have a beautiful expression. The top line's soft. They're working in a healthy way. And it's a poetry. It's a dance. And the second thing we talked about was rhythm, which is what gives confidence, very important. And then we went on to responsibility, the ability to respond, to pause in that moment between um, the stimulus and how we're going to react. You know, to get good at taking the feedback and having an appropriate response and not just reacting. And this is, um, this is a number one principle of any personal development work, you know, not shaming and blaming uh, response ability. And the next thing we went on to was stillness. So this for me is one of the most undervalued thing and it's in the stillness it's really essential to make sense of the movement. It's a beautiful practice and, like I say, I think really undervalued. Horses appreciate it so much. And then we talked about faith, about belief in ourselves, um, belief in what we're doing. Um, again, a lovely topic. And then we went on to love, which is the superpower, you know? the opposite of fear and when we get in that space of love we can make good choices and present such a good feel to our horse um, beyond fear <laughs> and then we went to trust which is a daily negotiation something that we're always building on we're taking in we're putting out we're building up trust in ourselves in our decisions in our horse and our horse in us you know it's a very two-way process and then we went to gracefulness one of my favorite topics and um, I think horses are such graceful animals that we really owe it to them to have that grace in ourselves in all ways, you know. Also, it's about generosity. They're not just graceful in movement. They're so graceful with our human clumsiness, how we can make so many mistakes and they'll still be graceful enough to forgive us <laughs> and try again um, as we fumble through. You know, they're so much more aware and sensitive than we are. And then we went to balance. So physical balancing, but it was very much about balancing the extremes of gentle and firm, of soft and strong, of how important it is to be able to have that contrast of both sides and to be able to walk with both of those things. You know, there's a saying in classical equitation, which was one of Miguel's favourites, which was soft as silk and hard as steel. So firm's nicer than hard. But anyway, you get the, the idea from that, you know. We really need both to um, be, and be successful and um, effective with our horses and fair to them. So, yeah, that's it. And the forward, straight and calm, we've talked about that before. And I just want to stress that really today to round up as a little mantra when things don't go well, you know, forward, straight and calm. If we always come back to that, you know, look up ahead, pick a point in the distance, <sighs> take a breath and just go straight forward and calm. And it's a good one in life as well, you know. Um, I use that when it gets so stuck in my mind and, and things are going wrong and this isn't working and that isn't working and that, you know, just, whew, okay, forward, straight and calm. <laughs> I have that painted on my wall in the arena in, in Spanish. Adelante, derecho y calma. So that is, uh, for me, a nice mantra to always come back to. And just to kind of bring the series 
full circle back to something more um, purely related to horsemanship, you know, from free forward movement to forward straight and calm. And in between we had all those other different concepts that I find just make a world of difference and can often be overlooked in, in horsemanship, you know. It's that thing I so much believe in. It's not what we do, it's how we do it. And it's that thing of sometimes there's just too much information. You know, I've had students often who have so much knowledge, they've read all the books, they've done all these courses, but they don't put it into practice effectively because it's the way that they're doing, it's the how, it's the feel they're giving to the horse. And of course that we need to practice with the horse, but it's the awareness and mindfulness in ourselves and our body and our centering and our grounding that really is transformative in this. And um, that's what inspired me to create an online course about that, that it's not um, what we do, it's how we do it that makes the difference. So thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series and it's been of some use. If it helps some person be um, kinder or have a better connection with their horse and be kinder to themselves and have a safer, more joyous relationship, then um, I'll be grateful for that. That'll be enough. So I hope it has helped you and um, let us know. Thank you for joining me.